So it's pouring rain out hard. So I have to make a video indoors. So it'll be a educational video, of course. About something nobody wants to hear about. Well, I mean here. What comes out of there? What? More random kitties? Get out of there. I'm trying to make a video. Come on. Come on. Anyways, let's get to business. Well, anyways, this video is about how mufflers work. If my stupid kitties can get out of the way. Mufflers work by two principles, noise cancellation and wave clipping. In any muffler, you usually have these two pipes, input, output. These pipes settle perforations or holes. That clips the waves, the sound waves. That kind of works how a microwave works. If you look at a microwave really closely, you see all the little holes so you can see your food. Well, how come the microwaves don't come out and fry you? <laughs> you know, like cook your brain? So all forms of radiation that travel in the form of a wave, which most radiation does, comes in different size waves. The height of the wave is called amplitude, and the closeness together of the wave is called frequency. Well, back to clipping. If a wave is big, but it tries to get through a tiny hole, it gets the top and bottom of it chopped off, so you only get part of a wave coming out. Same as the perforated pipes in a muffler. That's called clipping the waves. Well, a full wave looks like that, and a, clip wa a clipped wave looks like that, all chopped up. Well, a chopped up wave is definitely not as loud as a full wave, and it definitely sounds different. So that's a good thing when you're standing behind a muffler. So when you try to pass a large wave through a small hole, it gets its top and bottom clipped off a lot. That changes the properties of a wave a lot. It makes it very ineffective. So if you did put your hand here, there might be the tiniest bit of radiation, but not really much to bother you. Same as in the muffler. But as you can see, all these little pockets and little holes like to corrode and seal up. So the air can still get out, or the exhaust, through these holes. Gas in, gas is out. So the other way a muffler works is by noise cancellation. So now you have the weakened chopped waves emanating from these pipes bouncing around inside this double walled chamber. Double walled, this is what I mean. When I cut the part out that went there, most mufflers have two walls, except resonators. The reason they have two walls is because there's pressure waves in there and sound waves and they're vibrating the metal surfaces. So if these metal surfaces were being vibrated by those waves, well then the outside surface of a muffler would become like a speaker, and then even though if you, had no, you might have no sound coming out there, the outside of the muffler would be radiating sound. Right, kitty? So having two walls is kind of a good thing and a bad thing. You might think it makes the muffler last longer, but if you look inside, it actually holds the mo corrosive moisture that's in a muffler and helps corrode it and actually make it last less long. But the fact that there's two pieces together, it doesn't act like a speaker. The sound is cancelled. There's noise cancellation. There's noise cancellation in here, and there's noise cancellation in here, which I'll explain now. When waves of sound are radiating inside here, they're bouncing off and they're radiating back again. Well, since the frequency is almost consistent, same frequency radiating off here as is radiating off the walls, it's called the cancelling effect, wave cancelling. One wave hits the other wave, and every action has an equal and opposite reaction, so that cancels the sound. So even though there's a direct hole here and a direct hole here, well, those clipped waves are getting cancelled. As you can see, a big wave can't fit through a small hole, and that's how you end up like this. So that's a weakened wave, so you have the two forces, clipping and cancelling. Now you know how it works. And dampening with two walls so the outside of it doesn't become a speaker. You'll also notice on performance cars, 
They're not like tiny inch and a half pipe like this. They might have three inch exhaust pipe. And the sound is much cooler. It's a much deeper sound because it allows a larger wave to fit and travel through that pipe. It's not being clipped. And a small car like this thing came off of, like a Cavalier 2.2. Well, the wave is sort of clipped a whole lot, so you have that, that little farty sound that they make. Because a bigger wave would like to fit through there, but it can't quite. So, simple as that. Old-fashioned technology, very effective, and in many circumstances, not very power restrictive. Cool.